Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Lakeisha McKnight is here, and we are live. We are live. It has been an amazing day. Busy, yet amazing. Welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. We are late. (laughs) We are late. We are almost two hours past our normal time of going live. Uh, But nonetheless, for all of my night owls, out there. We are indeed here and we're seeking to make sure we touch bases with you to jumpstart your week. And so this is why I'm going live right now and just being consistent and touching bases with you. So this is indeed the Leadership TKO Live night show. Now we normally would do a video option as well, but it's relatively late. So we're just sticking with the audio version. And so I'm going to explain in just a moment why Uh, We are late with the podcast episode tonight and for good reason, okay, and for good reason. And so what we're going to do at this particular moment is I'm going to start a watch party in a particular group uh, on Facebook. It's comprised of women who are really, really active online. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and go ahead and jump start it, okay? And so let me give it a title for this watch party, and then I'm going to check the audio just to make sure that we're good with reason. the audio. And so what we're going All right, so it sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good with the audio. Okay? Uh good evening. All right, let me make sure I get the spelling on this good. Good evening, ladies. So welcome aboard. This is the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. Welcome, welcome. Uh, This is a show we normally do every single evening around 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, with the goal of empowering you with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. Uh, For those of you who really do not focus on personal development, you do not really focus in on building yourself up as a leader, this might not be the episode for you. This might not be the podcast episode for you. So I do understand if you have to exit, if if you don't really want to stay up a little bit later, if you don't really want to focus in on developing yourself as a leader, again, I, I understand if you have to exit and not leave because maybe self-growth is not, an, is not a focus for you in 2020. Maybe you don't want to grow. Uh, in 2020. So this may not be the podcast episode for you, but for those of you who do want to grow in 2020, if you want to develop yourself as the leader that God has called you to be, keep listening in. Okay. Keep listening in, invite uh, those connected to you on your networks to plug in, share this episode, do a watch party. I don't care really what time it is, you know, 10 51, 11 51, one o'clock in the morning, whatever time it may be right? Depending on where you are in the world, plug people in. Love this stream if you do care about leadership development, developing yourself as a leader. Hey, Sonia, that's right, my sister. You know, it's all about developing ourselves. You see, the more you develop yourself as a leader, the greater and the stronger and the more successful your business will be, right? If you don't want real talk tonight during this episode, again, I understand if you have to go, I get it. Okay. I totally get it. And so Albert Einstein, he made this important quote. And so I'm going to focus on, you know, the main thing behind this particular quote tonight. He says, setting an example is not the main means of influencing others. It is the only means. Okay. And let me repeat it. Let me read it for you. It says setting an example is not the main means of influencing others. It is the only means. So, so what message are you as a leader, what message are you seeking to communicate to the world? I want you to to think about that. If you have to kind of take some more time and maybe, you know, just doing it right now may not be all the time that you really need, then yes, write that question down. Okay. What example, you know, really what message, let me go back. What message are you seeking to share with the world? What message is that? Okay. Because I want you to think about this as you're going forward uh, this week, you know, as you're posting content on your timelines, as as you're putting out great work into the world and and maybe doing some coaching with other people and engaging and providing services for people, what message are you seeking to communicate? And then you want to ask yourself the big question of them all, the example. What example are you trying to set for those who are connected to you? 
You see the example, let me give an, let me give you an example of how I intend to be an example. There are many women out there in the world who are looking for a way to achieve financial freedom right? They want to achieve time freedom. Many of you are preparing. You you got your clothes set out for tomorrow morning and you got your kids clothes ready. You're about to engage in that same old routine, right? Where you set your alarm and you wake up and you get dressed, right? And you have to go out there and wait in that traffic, right? And prepare yourself to go into that nine to five job. Most, right, most people are doing this. There are not a lot of people um, who are being the example, right, and taking the leap of faith and jumping. What do I mean by this? You might have heard the inspirational talk by Steve Harvey. You really have to be the example. So if you want other people, of course, to plug in and to, to really run after, to seek after financial freedom and time freedom, you need to be the example, you need to be the example. All right. And so if you're seeking to build a profitable organization and and there are certain things that you really, really need to do to really go forward and to establish a successful business, especially in the network marketing model of business, you need to be the example and do those things that you want other people to do. So if you're expecting people to, to really bring in new people, bring in new partners within the business, if you're expecting them to really grow their business, Are you bringing in new people? Are you bringing in new people? Are you speaking to more people, right? Are you seeking and doing those things you need to do to build wealth? If you are trying to build wealth, right? That means that you need to be acquiring assets. For those of you, especially those, I want to speak directly to those who are in that special group comprised of women, that black business women's group uh, that I'm plugged into. Ladies, I'm talking to you right quick. Let me talk to you real quick. How many of you ladies right now are acquiring assets? A lot of you, I I spoke to a lot of you. I want to say within the last two months, I I might have spoken to about 400 of you, right, in that group. And many of you, right, I get the same response. They're seeking, you guys are seeking to build a business. You're trying to get your boutique off the ground, trying to get your, your, your financial uh, uh, business off the ground. You, you want to you wanna start this traditional business, right? But you need to be finding out a way by which you can have money working hard for you instead of you working so hard for money. You need to figure out a way by which you have a system in place that will work for you. So you're not working so hard, right? And you need to start acquiring assets, okay? You need to be acquiring assets. And that is what I've been sharing with you all in the group. And of course, sharing with everybody else that's on my timeline, uh, connected to me on Facebook. So for those of you who are tuning in right now, if you're not acquiring assets that can work harder for you without you working so hard for money, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? You see, don't make 2020 a repeat of 2019. What what assets are you getting right now? Like right now, real talk question. If you were to go to sleep tonight and not wake up, what will you pass on to your children? What if your children does not want to run a boutique? What if your child does not want to have a graphic company? What if your child does not want to be a beautician? What will you pass on to your children? Would it be easier to pass on something they don't want to do? Or could you pass on money, real money to them? Now, many of you, and you might be thinking, well, you know, I can pass on some cash. I got some cash. I'm not talking about cash. I'm talking about real money, assets. There is, there is an asset that is a, that's real money, tier one, top grade, right? Real money. Please understand, real money should be something that's weighed and not printed, If all you have right now is quote unquote money that is, can easily be printed, right? You are losing. 
Robert Kiyosaki says it best. The more you hold on to cash, right? And think that you're saving with cash, the more that you're losing. You all know Robert Kiyosaki, right? He's the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He's a, he's very knowledgeable about building wealth and building businesses in real estate. So if you are not acquiring, saving in an asset, real money, gold, you are losing right now. And I, there's an easier way. You can become educated. You can begin to learn about money. And that's what I've been plugging. I've actually helped over 300 women right from the group that many of you are in, the Black Business Women's Group, right? I've helped over 300 of you plug into a system, right? Now, just because you're plugged into the system doesn't mean that you're building wealth. Just because you have a free account doesn't mean that you're building wealth. You oh, you got the key and you opened the door. You know, it doesn't mean that you, you have to begin to take action. You have to begin to do what's necessary. And see, it's real simple to put yourself on the path to achieving financial freedom and accumulating or at least creating generational wealth. It's really simple. You see, we just got off of a training with our senior, with my senior mentors, right? And these are very, very successful men uh, in business, okay? And what they're, what they've encouraged us to do is plug into a money system that's absolutely free that will give you the solid education that you need so you can begin building wealth. The education, you'll, be, you'll receive education about the dollar and what it truly is, right? Many of you think the dollar is money and that it's gonna, you know, that you need to keep running and chasing after this dollar. Please help, let me, let me, let me educate you a little bit. The dollar that you're chasing right now is debt. It has changed. Did you know that the dollar has changed? The dollar has changed. That's not money. That's debt. It's a liability. Look up what a Federal Reserve note is, and you will be shocked to find out that it is a liability. And many of you are chasing after the dollar. Yes, use the dollar to spend. But if you're trying to build a business and establish wealth, you're going to need to do that with assets. And the dollar is not an asset. Okay? The dollar is not an asset. So for those of you who want more education like this, you want to become knowledgeable about what real money is and and about about acquiring assets like gold and, and other assets like cryptocurrency, because we already know cryptocurrency is the hot commodity right now. And if you're not accepting cryptocurrency in your, as a form of payment in your business, or if you're not accumulating cryptocurrency for yourself, you are behind the bar. You are a little bit behind. You got to catch up a bit. And so the money system is going to educate you about money. It's going to educate you on being the example that others need to follow. You see, am I building wealth? Yes, I'm doing this every single day. And now I'm encouraging you to do it. I've been doing this for over three years. And so I want to encourage you all to start building wealth. You need to do this for not just for yourself, for your children and your children's children. So I want to encourage you tonight as you're listening into this episode, this stream tonight, get to get back with the person that shared this with you. If I'm sharing this with you tonight and you have no clue about this money system, no clue about this wealth building system, and you just want to be educated about what this is about, send me an inbox message. Send the person that shared this with you an inbox message. Let them know you just want some information about a wealth system that's going to help you win when it comes to money. It's going to help you win. It's going to help money to be able to work harder for you. It's going to help educate you on how you can make more money while you sleep. Because we already know what Warren Buffett said, right? If you don't learn how to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. And so I know for a fact that many of you don't, you don't want to do that. And if you do, I need to go fill your head and make sure you're feeling good. (laughs) All right. 
So again, get back with me, get back with the person that shared this stream with you tonight. Let them know that you want more information about a money system that works. Uh, over 800,000 people are plugged into the system from over 140 countries worldwide. Did we have to pay anything to get into the system? No. Are we required to pay a monthly fee? No. And you receive wealth education that you don't get in colleges nor in universities. So again, thank you so much. We're going to be back hopefully at our normal time. Okay. Tomorrow at nine o'clock PM Eastern standard time, we're going to be back here with some fresh content. So until the next time that we do come together, I do encourage each and every one of you out there to think, to speak and to live leadership. Good night, everyone. And God bless.